everyone. It's uh, nearly 11 o'clock at night. It's the 12th of January and it's a Saturday evening. Now, one of my brothers is currently doing a bunch of work in a local hotel that's having some renovations done while it's the quiet season. Uh, I think he said they've shut down for two weeks while they can, you know, replace carpets and have some electrical things done and whatnot. Anyway, he has managed to get me three CCTV cameras. One of them is a dummy and that's this one. There is absolutely nothing in there. In fact, there was an LED in there and they've actually taken that out for some reason and just taped over it. So, it's even got an RF socket on the back, but uh, I will show you inside that in a moment, just to show you that is a dummy camera. And these ones are actually genuine. Um, I'm not going to open them up because they are a bit more trickier to open up and there's a lot more screws, believe it or not. But there is a power transformer in here. It's got the BNC connectors all on the back, power switch, power cable, blah, blah, blah. And if you actually look in the end, you might actually be able to see the camera lens itself, or the iris, whatever you want to call it. So... I've got two of those. I need to sort that bracket out. I've done this one. But uh, as you can see, this one's still a bit... It's actually quite easy to sort out. I need to take this off first. So I noticed there was like a piece of metal when I took that one off. And I think it's uh, completely disappeared in this one. Yeah. That might be a problem then. <laughs> um, oh well, not to worry. Maybe the backs fell off of that one as well. But uh, I do have the cables to use this. Well, I've got to make one up. I did have one made up, but it seems to have gotten broken. Because what I need, I've got that Windows 98 PC in the bedroom which has got the um, CCTV software and whatnot on it. But it's got connections for this type of plug on it, the RCA plug. But as you know, the cameras have got BNC connectors on, which is what was on the end of that, but it's fallen off. So I just need to um, find something like this that I can connect to that just to make a cable up. So I can try it on a TV or on that Windows 98 computer, you know. So, I know I have got some more BNC type connectors somewhere. Can't remember the way though. <laughs> so, I'll put those over there for now. As a fun fact, I actually find that with a lot of dummy cameras, what they tend to do is just stuff the cable that comes out the back in there. And the fact there's another hole there, and they've got this RF socket on the back, I guarantee they had another one plug in there, and the other end went in there, because this is, actually, is a genuine piece of power flex. Let's see, it's got the blue and brown live and neutral in it. But as you will see in a moment, it's not connected to nothing. Because there's nothing in here to connect it to, it is a dummy camera. Now, because I know a bit about CCTV, because I've done my research, as soon as I walk into a shop and I see a camera like this with the cable stuffed up there in the bracket, or going through the back of the bracket like that, I instantly know it's a dummy camera without even having to go up and study it. Because all, well, I can't say all, but all the ca at least all the dummy cameras I've come across myself have done that. They've stuffed the cables into the bracket. That's not the way I would do it myself. The way I would have done it is where this would have been mounted if I needed to, I'd have extended this, but I'd have had this 
clipped up the wall and go into the ceiling. Just drill a little hole in the ceiling and just poke that up through it. The same with the um, RF socket. So it looked a lot more convincing. Anyway, I'm going to say empty box, nothing in it. And uh, like I said, the LED, I don't know if you can actually see it in this light, but it has been taped up. And you can see there where there was a battery box put. So I guarantee it just had a little um, pulsating LED up in this corner. Just to make it look like it's active. But as you can see there as well, there's the cable, there's the RF socket. Just It is, it's a genuine socket, it could be used. But, uh because it's got all the metal connectors on there and all the tabs to solder to, but there's just nothing to, on it. But I'm actually glad they did use a genuine one, that's something. And if you look down there, you can clearly see there's no camera iris in there. <laughs> but from a distance on a wall, you're not likely to notice it. Unless you're a smart person like like us. I'm going to say like us. We're all smart. All my viewers are smart. Try and get the bloody holes to line up. But uh, I have had dummy cameras in the past where they don't even have cable coming out the back. It's just like a piece of PVC tubing. And I've actually seen them. I'm not going to say what shop it's in, but I have seen it in a shop here, locally, where they have a cable that goes through that, through the actual bracket, and back into the camera, so it just sort of loops around. ones apart there's eight screws so what I want to do is test them first and if one of them or well, neither of them work then I'll do a full tear down or when I'm actually feeling up to it I'll do a tear down on them and take my part and have a good close look inside. I have had a peek with the top cover off and all I can see is two circuit boards. Um, there could be more than that but there is at least two main circuit boards. Um, a little one for the power that goes in, because there's two 30 volts that can go in into a big transformer, which explains the weight in them. And uh, I think that was it. <laughs> they're in a great, well, say they're in a great deal in there, there isn't really. Should we have a bet? on whether they're black and white cameras or colour. I'm going to guess black and white. I don't know why, but I've just got a feeling these are black and white cameras. Like I said, I don't even know if they work. But there is a bit of a... Well, I laugh about it now and call it a funny story, but these were plugged in. You know how I know these were plugged in and not hardwired? Because of the lengths of the three wires. The earth there, the yellow and green, is actually longer than all, or the longest one out of all three, because that's got the furthest to go in the plug. Followed by the blue one and the brown one, has got the shortest distance to go, so I would have thought these were actually would have been, you know, perhaps hardwired, but obviously not. They must have had a socket near the wall to plug them in. A socket that was probably specifically installed for these to plug into. Shame they got white paint over the cable, though. <laughs> uh, not sure what I'm going to do with this dummy one yet. But it is a very obviously an observation system. 
the SDC 2000 observation system which is uh, about as authentic as me saying I'm a bloody the Pope it's got a very piss poor bracket system there as well hasn't it look at it it's literally just two crappy sort of L-shaped bits of plastic actually I thought they were metal but they are plastic <laughs> any of my viewers would know the answer to this but um, my desktop PC has got a um, I don't really want to call it an issue because it's not an issue it's more of an annoyance I suppose technically it is an issue um, sometimes when I turn it on and it doesn't do this regularly it's just every once in a while it'll throw up a disk read error um, you know, restart your PC, blah blah. Um, or like it did this morning actually, it um, just wanted to go into the um, automatic repair thing. So, um, what I have to do when that happens is take the side cover off, disconnect all three of my storage drives. So, just connected via the SAR is my SSD which is what I've got Windows installed on and the DVD drive boot the computer up boots up absolutely fine as if there was no problem whatsoever so I let it boot up and I shut the PC down again plug in the three storage drives turn the PC on and it works fine and I can do that for two, three, four weeks something like that it's just literally it seems to do it at random but it's like it totally forgets which SATA connector the boot driver's on, so it throws up that error. So, you know, I have to disconnect the three other hard drives so the computer then reassociates my boot drive to that SATA socket again. You know, and basically lather, rinse, repeat. It is like it's got a memory problem and it just forgets. You know, it doesn't know which one's the boot drive, so it throws up that error. That's just my theory, though. I mean, it's not a big problem. It's just more of an inconvenience and having to take the side cover off, you know, and boot the system up twice just to get everything to work properly. <clears throat> so, no rush to fix it, but if anyone's got any ideas what that could be, I'm not ex experiencing any performance issues once it's working or anything like that. Everything is still uh, working pretty darn great. Touch wood. <laughs> At some point in the future, I'm not even sure if I'll do it this year, but I do want to get an upgraded video card for it. And I've already put, well, technically an upgraded video card in it because it's got more oomph than my old one, but... I still want something a bit more because there is a game I want and my graphics won't run it <laughs> I've already checked it which is a bit of a, a bugger really but never mind right I don't think there's anything else on what to talk about I just these were given to me today so I just wanted to sh show you what I got Something interesting we can play with at least. I mean I've still got those three in the bedroom that I got from um, when the town council had to leave their property out there. Um, the old um, CCTV that used to watch over the town. Or at least three of them. I know others uh, did pill for them from the rubbish pile as well because I watched them. <laughs> Uh, and I even notified the town council that someone had pilfered off the pile of them that was left on the car park and they didn't do anything didn't even reply to me so I thought well bugger it I went and got one from the pile as well because I thought if they don't care about this person I was going to care if I go and help myself to one 
and then um, when they moved out they put two in the big skip so I, I wanted a table that was in there so I asked the council you know if I could just pop over there and just grab a table and they said help yourself so I thought well I might as well help myself to the cameras while I'm in here <laughs> I think I managed to rescue a couple of other bits as well while I was in there. But uh, yeah, they've got, even though they do have their own technically circuit boards, but I found that the circuit boards that I got with them, they're just for like the controls, for like the um, tilt, because the old system it could tilt up and down move around in a 360 and I had all the zoom in zoom out feature I had a lot of uh, fancy stuff and that's what the circuit boards are there to control but of course I don't have the control panel for it I don't know if I could fabricate something or even if it's worth doing anything like that but I have actually pl pl ploughed I ploughed them up it was one of those moments where I was thinking of plugging them in and powering them up at exactly the same time so both words came out as one word <laughs> anyway <clears throat> I have plugged them all in and powered them up on a computer that I do not have now and they do work they do put out a signal it's actually a pretty damn clear picture as well I was quite impressed considering they're from around about 2002 when the system was first installed but uh, the story with that is North Norfolk District Council used to operate the CCTV in most of their towns, but obviously to save money, when the government started to um, cut funding and whatnot, they switched ours off. Um, and our town council very generously decided to take up the responsibility for it. Uh, they had a brand new system installed with all wireless cameras and whatnot. Um, so obviously they went around and the company that was installing the new ones took the old ones down and just bunged them in the pile out there on the car park. And like I said, a number of them walked. <laughs> Which is why, as I said earlier now, I saw someone walk off with one in broad daylight, threw it in the boot of his car and whatnot and drove off. Like, like I said, I told the town council they didn't bat an eyelid, basically. They didn't care, so I thought, well, I'm going to get one then. No one seems to care, so <clears throat> I sort of presume from that and the fact that, uh, well, the last two I got have been sitting over there for well over a year, actually, before they put in the skip. In all weathers, frost, rain, snowed on twice. So I just come to the conclusion that, you know, the, they just weren't wanted, but they just weren't getting rid of them you know they just got left there probably forgot about it to be honest eventually <clears throat> so uh now i've got a bunch of cameras to play with <laughs> i could film myself in black and white although these ones don't have a built-in microphone i think well, that's another option with those other cameras i've got i think they've got the microphone option Anyway, I don't know when I'm going to play with these, but at some point I will. But uh, I'm going to shut the camera down, I think, before I ramble on too much. Which I have a habit of doing. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you like this video. And at some point in the future, I probably will tear at least one of these down so we can have a look inside and see what make it tick. Probably the one that's got the broken rear panel because the clips are broken. I might take that one apart and we'll have a look at that and try and put it back together afterwards and clean it up. Because <laughs> they all need a good clean. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.